Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Monday, January 8th, I'm sorry, January 9th, and today we are starting to talk about false teachers. Now, the remnant is going to be very mindful of those false teachings. They're going to be very diligent to be looking for evidence that this is a false teaching. They're going to be using the Bible to corroborate that yes, this teaching matches up with scripture and therefore it is a valid teaching or to refute it and say, this is not a valid teaching because I can find this in the Bible and this refutes it. So that prayer closet time is essential because it's not just prayer time. It is also time where you are focusing on the Lord. You're studying the word. You're getting to know who God is better and you're getting better and better at hearing this still small voice of the Holy Spirit. There will be times where you hear a false teaching and it just doesn't feel right to you. It just doesn't sit well with you. You can't put your finger on it. You can't point to a specific Bible verse where you're saying this is not true because of this, but something just feels off. And when that happens, we need to be very aware that that is guidance from the Holy Spirit. That is the Holy Spirit saying, don't buy into this, be very, very careful. It's kind of like, um, it, it's like discernment that you have with people, but it's discernment for a teaching. And we need to be very aware of that. Also, I want to tell you that there is a difference between false teaching and a mistaken teaching. A false teaching is intentionally meant to lead people away. It's meant to lead people in one direction that is not of God. A lot of times it can be a very arrogant place um, where the person is hoping that the people will put their faith and trust in them rather than on Jesus Christ. And they may not even be aware that they're doing it, but they are doing it. A mistaken teaching, on the other hand, is simply that. The person has made a mistake. When you point out the mistake, they will research it, they will pray over it, and they'll come back and say, you're right, I made a mistake. And they'll, then they'll retract what they say and say, this was very dangerous, don't believe this because it pulls you away from Jesus Christ. And then they will move forward and avoid that mistake in the future. They genuinely have a heart to glorify God. They just plain made a mistake. A false teaching is very intentional. They know they are doing it. They know that they are asking people to put their faith and trust in them rather than in Jesus Christ. They are intentionally pulling people away. So that takes us to 1 Corinthians chapter 11, and I'm starting in verse 12. Because when you start in verse 13, it kind of didn't make sense to me. And um, this is Paul who wrote this, and it says, I will keep on doing what I am doing in order to cut the ground from under those who have won an opportunity to be considered equal with us in the things they boast about. Now, what he's talking about is people who get very boastful about their teaching. They get very boastful about what God is doing through them. Verse 13, for such people are false apostles, deceitful workers, masquerading as apostles of Christ. They are pretending that they've got it all. They're hoping that you're going to lead them. And then we see verse 14, and no wonder for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising then if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. So we need to be very mindful of these people who are putting on a show. They're very fake. They're very phony. Um, but they're good at making it and deceiving people and making them not realize that they're fake and phony. That that discernment from the Holy Spirit is an essential piece in helping you to become wise to the fact that this is not of God. They're hoping that you will follow them rather than follow God. They love the attention. They love the accolades. They love that they've got a following. They love it. And as I'm saying this, you know, it makes me think of narcissism. They, they don't want that glory on God. They want that glory on themselves. And in the beginning, it will probably seem like they do want that glory on God. And we have to be very mindful of that's what Satan does. 
Satan starts off telling you the truth, so you're going to buy into it. And then he gradually starts to bring in the lies. He gradually starts to tell you all the false things. And you buy into it because in the past, you've heard the truth. So be very mindful of it. So as you go into your prayer closet today, pray over that discernment. Pray that you recognize those false teachings. Pray that that, that stirring in your spirit of this just doesn't seem right will be there to guide you and direct you. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.